This is question 27 and it's a question involving pressure, force and area and also rearranging equations. So we can see that this prism is placed on a horizontal floor and we know the formula is that the pressure is the force divided by the area. And what we've got to work out is what's the force exerted by the prism on the floor. And so the first thing we can do is take this formula here and we can try and rearrange it. So we can see that if force over area equals pressure, then if I times both sides of this equation by area, then what I'll get is the force. So a rearrangement would be that the force is actually equal to area times pressure. So we can see that we're given what the pressure is. So the pressure is actually 75 newtons. And so we can say that the force, if I were to substitute that value in 75 for the pressure there, is equal to 75 times the area. So in order to complete the question, I need to find out what is the area. Well, one thing that we do know is that the volume of a prism is equal to the area of the end times by the length. And we can see that what we've got here is actually a prism because we've got an area here. So that's the area of the end. And that area is the same all the way through the shape. So that's what makes it a prism. If I was to take a slice of this at any point, then what I'd still be seeing would be this hexagon shape. So that would be the same shape all the way through the prism. So that's what makes it a prism. And if I take this formula, volume of prism equals area of end times length, if I divide both sides by length, what I'll end up with is that the area is equal to the volume divided by the length. So if I put those values into that, we've got the volume is 18 and we have the height, which is actually the same as the length, just another word for the length in this case. So that height there is the length is three. So I can find out that the area, if I divide 18 by three is six, and this is gonna be in meters squared. So now I've got all the information I need to be able to find the force. So I can say that the force is equal to 75 times six. And I might as well do that using column multiplication. So six times five, is 30, six times seven is 42, plus the three is 45. So the force is 450 newtons, newtons being the measure of force. So it's more of a physics concept that, but there we go, there's the, the unit there, newtons. So I've just put the end there at the end. And that's it, we've completed the question. So I hope that's been helpful to you. And if it has, please consider subscribing to our channel and also giving the video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.